Hey, what's up, YouTube? DW Blue Videos back with another video on my freshly built LC Racing EMB T, which stands for Truggy. This is the same thing, uh, pretty much as the uh, Nitro RCX Tacon Bulwark truck, uh, except this one's a kit. Now, uh, before we go into this any further, I want to say thank you to any new subscribers and hope you enjoy my channel. Hopefully it's informative and helps you. Uh, to my uh, existing subscribers, again, I want to say thank you. You'll have to excuse me a little bit. I've got some spirits going on here because it's the holidays and I'm enjoying myself. So let's dig into this little car and go from there. Uh, first thing you'll notice is the wheels and tires and the body. Uh, the body... And uh, the body in this in the servo I have in here are a separate purchase from the kit. Um, the reason why is I did, it did come with a clear body, but I want to send that out to my painter. Maybe I have a custom one done up for it, but I wanted something pre-done, pre so I got the screen printed one. And the bodies do come with the wings. Uh, tires and wheels. The, t the wheels are a 1.9 size wheel, and the tires that come with it, these are already pre-glued. And the rubber compound is a very nice soft rubber compound. Probably work really well on dirt clay surfaces. Um, it is a, There is a foam in it. There is a foam. Uh, let's see. Other than that, I mean, we'll show you the front. And let's we'll see, we'll take you around and we'll show you the backside. And there you go. Now, there's things that this kit offers that because this is a pro kit, this offers you some extra goodies that you don't get with the lower end kits and the ready to runs. And we will go over that here pretty quickly. All right, first thing you'll notice when you get this pro kit and you open it up, you're going to get the carbon fiber top shaft or top plate. I'm sorry. You're going to get the battery pack right here. That is a 7.42 S LiPo. Uh, 1800 milliamp 20c if i'm not mistaken 20 or 25c you're also going to get this four pole 4500 kv mo uh, motor uh, the body and the servo uh, the servo comes with it is a band 10 i think it's a d115 servo um, when i bought the, the body i also picked up this uh, the upgraded servo this has metal gears in it as compared to the stock plastic ones uh, that came with it um, another thing the kit does come with is you do get the tune springs front and rear, and you get a couple different spring rates. Um, you also get sway bars for the car, front and rear. The sway bars are labeled as such, front and rear, and what their uh, what the rod size is. So I think they're like a 1.1, 1.2, and a 1.0, I believe. Um, you also get the aluminum hexes, and you get the titanium nitride-coated shock shafts. And you also get uh, two of the CVDs. So supposedly this car is uh, capable of bending those uh, CVD shafts. Um, I believe the everything else on the car after that is uh, pretty much just like the ready to run. Let me see. Uh, where to begin? Where to begin? Um, chassis is aluminum. The shocks are all aluminum, no plastic on the shock except for, you know, the little between the O-rings and whatever else. Uh, you get dog bones on the rear. They're all metal. Aluminum shock towers. Uh, I believe these are probably steel, these uh, suspension arm mounts with the pills. Uh, they only come with one set of pills. Um, let me see. Carbon fiber top plate, we talked about that, this Ackerman bar. Uh, it does come with an aluminum Ackerman bar, which I assume that's probably stock on all of them. Um, you do get an aluminum uh, piece for the servo saver. Servo saver is plastic, and you get the aluminum uh, tensioner for the, uh, for the servo saver. Uh, let me see. Other than that, that's pretty much the uh, upgrades that I have for this. I mean, obviously, it's a pro kit, so it came with just about everything. Uh, there is a few more things you can get for it. Uh, you can get the aluminum uh, C-hubs and knuckles. 
for the front and aluminum rear bearing carriers for the rear. Obviously, minor plastic because they came with the kit. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to upgrade any more of that at that point. I haven't, I haven't even driven it yet to be able to tell you whether uh, it would really require it. Um, all metal to metal connections on here use thread lock. Uh, anything metal to plastic, you know, or, or plastic to plastic, obviously, no. Um, your set screws for these guys. Let me see if I can spin that around there and get that to come around. Uh, set screws, make sure you thread lock all those. Um, and I think that's, and obviously your set screws for your sway bars, you'll want to thread lock those. Uh, lubricate your dog bones and CVDs, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you can get uh, carbon fiber shock towers for it as well. I decided not to opt and purchase those because, I mean, yeah, they do add a coolness factor, but the the aluminum in this rear shock tower has got a little, it's got a specific press bend in it uh, for some odd reason. That's probably because of the, the kick up on the rear. And the front's got a kick up as well. So that's probably why to keep the, the shocks standing straight up instead of pitching back this way or leaning forward. Um, as far as the overall build goes, I had a couple of small little little things uh, we'll go over. Uh, first thing we'll do is we'll start with the shocks. Uh, the shock pistons did have a little piece of the... Uh, mold from the tree i guess they didn't clip them quite close enough they're real close but i took an emery board and i was able to sand that sand that down and smooth that off uh all four pistons were like that which you know i mean unless it's a machine piston you you might have that problem because sometimes they don't always break off cleanly uh let me see everything in the car is ball bearing supported um my other gripe with the build was there's a plastic piece that that goes in right here that didn't fit right in there um, without sanding the sides of it with the emery board uh, to, to get it to fit in there. Now, it, it slid in snugly, which is I, I can live with that. So that worked out just fine there. Um, another thing about the build is that they require you on these four screws right here. They tell you to use a 2.6 by 6 millimeter. Now, if you look at this thickness this is probably about four millimeters between this spur gear top cover and the carbon plate uh, which only leaves you about having about two millimeters going into the aluminum piece here and into the into the gear case have here and I didn't like that so I took a screws out and I, I took a 1.5 millimeter driver and stuck it down in there where it bottomed out and then I measured it and we have uh, we have about a good eight, almost ten millimeters to work with uh, in depth from the top of this. So I grabbed uh, spare screws came with the kit. I grabbed uh, four two point six by eight millimeter screws, and I was able to put them in. So now you've got a total of four millimeters now of of thread biting onto the aluminum and to the transmission uh, top of the diff case here. Uh, that was one of my gripes with the build besides the shock pistons. Uh, my other gripe with the build was the, and this is something that, you know, it's I guess it's splitting hairs, but uh, when you've got the diff cup and you start building the diffs, that's the first thing you build, and you got the, 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 the drive end coming out of the diff, it goes into the cup, and then you have your O-ring, your washer, and you got to get this little uh, pin after you drop it in the cup to slide it in there, that's kind of a pain. Um, but that's, you know, I mean, what else, I guess what else can you do, you know? Um, but once you get that in there, you know, that's good. Um, let me see. Uh, other gripe with that diff was the Phillips head screws. I didn't like the fact that they used Phillips head screws in the diffs to hold the ring to the diff itself. Um, the diffs are not sealed uh, with a gasket. They are fluid filled. Uh, with the thicker fluids, you don't have anything to worry about. With the thinner fluids, you will maybe. Um, they may not uh, seal up quite well. You can sand the, the the cup of the diff on some like 1,000 grit sandpaper, wet sand it or something. I heard something about it. Um, mine sealed up just fine. I'm running I think uh, 3,000 in the back and 10 or 7,000 in the front on mine. 
Uh, let's see what else is there um, with the gripes of the build. Um, just the Phillips head screws, the pin, the piece I had to sand in the back. Um, these screws here I thought were a little short, and that's why I changed them to the 8 millimeter length. Um, other than that, uh, the craftsmanship of the parts was good. It was, was actually pretty darn good for being a car like this is made in China. So, ring and pinions didn't need to be shimmed up at all. Uh, they mesh really good. It does come with all ball bearings. Um, 48 pitch gears in the or, or, uh, 48 pitch gears are in the back. Um, that is something else too that this kit does come with. If I didn't mention it, was a disc. It does come with three pinions as well for this. Uh, so you get three different size pinions, and you can adjust your motor uh, mesh with these screws. You loosen these up, and then you can slide it, or you can pull these out and just pull the whole motor right out of this uh, setup here. Uh, I think that's pretty much it uh, regarding that. Um, as far as tips and tricks go, yeah, it does. You know, it does have uh, droop screws as well. This is like you know, it's almost like a competition four-wheel drive buggy in a way, with all the like an eighth scale. Um, any other tips and tricks for it? Uh, the only thing I can say is that the wheels are not a standard offset. Uh, they are, uh, more specific to their own, I guess, but they are a 12 mil hex, but you can't use a Lozier or a, uh, associated wheel with these. Um, uh, DE Racing, I hear, makes a wheel for the Mini Revo, supposedly, that's got the proper offset for these, or you go back to, uh, LC Racing and you can, or take, or Nitro RCX to get the wheels and tires for this as well. Um, you can get wheels separately from, you don't have to get these tires, but you can get wheels separately. And I think that's really about it. Um, I've given you my gripes about the build. I told you what it came with and everything else. So all in all, I'm happy with the car. Uh, I'm happy with the way it turned out. I, I thought the build was, uh, was a very uh, interesting build. I did spend a lot of time on the build. It, um, it did go together well. Um, my only other minor gripe that I've got is you have to really pay attention to the size screws you're putting in this car uh, because all the screws, some of the screws are different sizes. Uh, some are 3 millimeter, some are 2.6 mil, and some are 2 mil. So you have to really pay attention. And then my only other real gripe is probably the wheel hex. It's a 3 millimeter instead of a 4. Um, it's a flanged, uh, a flanged lock nut style uh, nut that's on there i really would have expected to see a four mil on there instead of a three so but uh you know it is one fourteenth scale so i guess take it for what it's worth but all in all it's a it's a good build uh very happy with the quality of the components um oh it does come with a hobby wing esc and the pro kit uh, I didn't put that in this yet because when I bought this car from the uh, LC Racing retailer, uh, this car is an updated version of the previous one he's selling, and he had it listed on his website as this car came with the Max 10 RTR ESC, which is basically a Hobby Wing 60 amp ESC. Uh, so he's supposed to be getting me one of those and i'm not sure if i have to send back my um the one that came with it or not why i haven't spoken to him since we discussed it uh so i'm kind of waiting to hear back from him on what's going on with all that and uh, i still haven't put my receiver in here and wired everything up but uh all in all the car is smooth it builds well um and uh you know that's really about it i mean you know it is what it is and it's a cool little truggy so there you go. Um, I would say don't let my little uh, my little um, complaints scare you from this. If you're looking for a one fourteenth scale truggy or you're just interested in the car at all, um, I think every every kit doesn't matter who makes it. Uh, you're gonna find uh, one little thing that you're gonna have to maybe modify or adjust or trim or sand uh, just to so the fit is right. But uh, other than that, that's really about all we've got on this car. It's a nice car, and uh, I would, uh, if you're interested in it, I would definitely recommend getting one. So 
Uh, oh, yeah, one last thing I do want to add to this. Uh, when you buy the Pro Kit, it does not come with any of the fluids or greases. You have to supply those yourself. Uh, so just wanted to give you a heads up with that as well. So there you go, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed my uh, my LC Racing uh, EB or EMBT truck. And this will probably be my last video of 2020. So thank you again. And I'm hoping to see you guys in 2021. Be safe and enjoy your holidays. All right, peace out.